This film will show you what to expect if you were having an electrophysiological study or an ablation treatment. I'm Anne Mountney, I'm 66 and I live in Dorking, Surrey. I'm here to have a cardiac ablation um, because I was suffering from tiredness and palpitations. Hopefully I should be able to do things more with my grandchildren because recently it's been making me very tired and I'd like to travel. My name is Mark Gallagher. I'm a consultant electrophysiologist and clinical director of cardiology at St George's Hospital, London. Ablation simply means destruction of tissue, which sounds bad, but what we're doing is destroying tiny amounts of tissue to break abnormal circuits in the heart or remove areas of the heart muscle that are triggering arrhythmias. Sometimes the heart beats in abnormal rhythms, called arrhythmias. An electrophysiological study is used to identify the electrical pathways in your heart that are causing these. Special catheters, long, thin tubes, are inserted into your groin and then moved up through your veins and into your heart. A small electrode at the tip of each catheter will detect where the unwanted electrical impulses are coming from. If the exact areas of the heart causing the issue are identified, then an ablation may be performed. This is when radio frequency energy is used to destroy or freeze these particular areas of heart tissue. This will hopefully prevent the abnormal heart rhythms from happening and restore a normal rhythm to your heart. OK, then. Jolly good. So this procedure can be done either under general anaesthetic or under local anaesthetic. Today we've used local. An ablation typically takes something around two and a half hours. The equipment I'm using here is a cryo balloon, a freezing balloon. So we've just isolated that vein. Using it, the electrical activity that's causing the problem, we can track down that little bit of tissue. And now we're going to treat the vein by freezing. Ablation with radio frequency energy can be painful. It's not an excruciating pain. It's the sort of pain that almost anyone can just grit their teeth and put up with for the few minutes that it lasts. This is a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Keep my chest. Perfect result. All of the veins are successfully treated. Thank you very much. We've got a very good probability that will remove the episodes of atrial fibrillation care after an ablation. Now, the only formal restriction we place on people, they cannot drive for two days after the procedure. We always advise people not to take on any strenuous exertion and to avoid any heavy or stressful work for a week or so. I'm feeling fine. It's a couple of times it's a little bit uncomfortable, but nothing as bad as I was expecting. So it'd be very nice to be able to keep up with my husband, because he's a very fast walker and I've been trailing behind recently, but so I'm quite looking forward to that. Heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK, but for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>